Hey guys, it's Nicole from Experience Glee. Did you know that Sabaya produces a 95% share of all spectacles made in Japan? So today I've come out to Sabaya to learn more about its glasses industry at the Megane Museum. Located just a 10 minute walk from Sabaya Station, this is the place to go to learn about all things glasses. From the history of production to the evolution of spectacle style, there's a whole lot to learn here at the Megane Museum. And for those of you who enjoy arts and crafts, there are a couple of trial lessons available. Visitors can choose to make either a spectacle shaped phone charm or your very own pair of frames. And since I don't really need glasses, I decided to go for the phone charm course. So let's get into it. First things first, you've got to pick out the color and the shape of the frame. Then trace the stencil onto the plastic. Next is probably the most difficult part, using an electric saw to cut out the frame. And once the frame has successfully been cut out, it's time to use a file to sand down the edges. And then all that's left is to buff and polish the frame. And once you're done, the staff member will punch a hole into the frame for the strap, put it in, and then there's a the finished product. However, if you don't quite have the time to make anything yourself, but still want to take home a memento of your time in Sabai, there's always the Megane shop. Here, you can buy a pair of glasses made right here in Skui. And over in the lobby, there are also a range of spectacle themed souvenirs on sale, including these unique sweet treats. The concept of a museum dedicated to glasses may not be the first thing that springs to mind when planning a day out and about. However, I actually think it's a great way of gaining an insight into the industry and the area that it supports. Besides, how many places can you leave saying that you made a pair of glasses? Even if they're just a Frank charm. Thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Bye!